adults. But I have actually coached a number of adults, even though I'm a junior, I'm junior development coach um, primarily. I have actually worked with a lot of adults, and the, the the key is how much time you have to practice as an adult. And and that's one of the issues that I have with all of the online coaching right now, all of the courses that are being sold. Sometimes they're being quite heavily marketed and they're being they're using a lot of high pressure sales tactics to get people like Zoe and Michael and adults to purchase their courses. But the courses are quite complicated. And how realistic is it for the average person who has a job, who doesn't have a lot of free time, doesn't have that much practice time to take a complicated course and actually affect some substantial change in their game without the help of a, of a coach working with them on court. I, I don't know how realistic that is. And so what we're going to try to do with our digital courses is make them very simple, maybe refer people to local specialists, People can, I'm going to be available. I am coaching. So people that are in my online programs will be able to work out with me. If they have, if they need follow-up, they can come train with me or one of my assistants. And I think what you see is that a lot of the online operators now are starting to realize that, and they're actually hiring people who can coach. And where, whereas people who are, are taking the courses are saying, well, we need some follow-up or we'd like to see you in person to see if we're doing this right. And they need to cater to that demand. I think you're starting to see that in the online space. A lot of them are becoming hybrid teaching organizations where they're doing a lot of stuff online, but they're also, they also offer a brick and mortar operation where they can work with players in person because a lot of players need that. And the typical adult, I think needs that even more because they have very limited time and it's not realistic that they're going to just coach themselves with some technical change they can't see themselves they can't toss balls to themselves it's it's not not easy you can use a ball machine and you can get fairly far working with yourself but at some point you probably need some corroboration you need some connection with a specialist somebody live who can make sure you're you're doing what you're doing you're you're making that progress so i think that's where a lot of the online providers are, are sort of missing the mark and, and some of them are trying to adapt now and offer that, you know, so that's kind of how I see the online space. I see online education continuing to explode in the next decade or two. I, I see more and more sports education going online. I see the future where pretty much every serious coach is going to have an online digital coaching operation. So I see that as being the future where There'll be a merger between brick and mortar coaching and and digital coaching. So it's not just uh, in the future. It won't just be one uh, one coach teaching uh, in a in a club or at a place. Most coaches will have a hybrid operation. Will they'll be going digital, and there'll be some sort of interplay between them both. That's the way the future is going to go.